Okay, so when training judo players or grapplers of any uh, grappling-based sport, we see a lot of hip issues, okay, and hip mobility issues. Uh, a lot of times you can kind of get away with it. You can watch people just kind of squat and watch if they begin to shift slightly. You normally won't see it on a descent, but you'll see it on a, the up, see? I'll kind of shift in to compensate, all right? Normally that's coming from a tight hip or a weak hip. The hip is weak normally because it was tight and you've been favoring the other side. So one thing that we can do to help open up those hips to allow us to create those one-legged throws is actually mimicking that same pattern, which is called what we, we use in a corrective world that called airplanes, all right? So I'll do a side view. I'm gonna get on one leg. I'm gonna grip my toes very tight into the ground. I do not want to use shoes. I'm just gonna do it for a demonstration today. I'm gonna drive this leg back and airplanes because my hands can come out the balance, okay? Now you're gonna find real quick if your feet are weak, because you're gonna have to really grip in and arch really tight into your foot. So I'll hip out, okay, my, my hip are back, and I'm actually gonna open and open that hip. And I'm gonna do this a few times. How many times is really gonna be up to you and what you can actually perform. Obviously, sets of two sets of 15, three sets of eight, anything like that to open that hip. So this is what it looked like forward. I'm gonna switch legs. So I'll come here, all right? And then I'm going to see I'm slightly turned, all right? I'm kind of opening that hip up. But see, I'm gripping it with my toes and driving that hip back straight. Opening and driving that hip back straight, okay? So from uh, the back angle, it looks like this. So back. And then see, I'm going to open and come back, all right? So those are airplanes. That is a good movement to use before class as a warm-up. It's great to do uh, before working out. And it's also very good to do while watching TV at night, simply when you're just relaxing with your family, thinking about the next day or just kind of decompressing throughout, all right? So if you have hip mobility issues, Maybe you find lower back problems from doing drop sayanagis, sayanagis or drop sayanagis, you have back problems. This will help fix it. You most likely have a hip function issue.